Well, Matt, eve of the season, uh, how have you wintered, first of all? Have you been well? Yeah, it's been good. I've um, managed to stay injury-free for a change, which, is, which has been really good. Um, but no, yeah, I had, uh, had some time out in New Zealand and played in the T20 comp out there, which was, uh, yeah, personally very, went very well. And I guess as a team, sure, we made it to the semi-finals and, and lost in those. But, um, but no, yeah, it's been a, a good winter and hopefully I can uh, take on, I guess, what I've uh, worked on, on on the winter back home into the end the summer. Yeah. Do you feel as if you're still waiting for your six, if you like, career to really kick start? Because you've been blighted by injuries, you've been so unfortunate. Yeah, you? it's been a real stop and start, hasn't it? So um, I think, apart from my first time I actually arrived in the UK to play in 2016, this is the first time I've been fit for the, for the start of the year. So yeah, that's quite exciting. And yeah, like you said, it's been so stop and start. So. Yeah, really looking forward to, to the summer and hopefully I can, when I get my opportunities, I can I can play and I can do well. Because you put in some fantastic performances with the ball when you ha when you have been fit. I mean, one sort of recalls at Cheltenham, I think, uh, yeah. a few years ago, se seven wickets. Uh, did well in the last, well, you finished on a high last season, didn't you? Yeah, you can yeah. take that into the start yeah. of this season. Yeah. Um, it's all, all, you know, really, really positive, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And like I said, it's just, you know, it's kind of a, probably a bit, quite a big year for me this year, just with all the injuries that I've had, and now that I've finally got myself fit and, and ready to play. So, yeah, really looking forward to it. Yeah. Going back to that last game of last season, was that one of the most tense games you'd played in? Because, uh, sorry, you weren't taking defeat happily, were they? Yeah, no, it was, a funny, <laughs> it was a funny old game. Obviously, everyone knows the scorecard and how quickly it went downhill for us in that last innings. But, yeah, to be honest, I probably didn't really think I was going to bet on that on that day. But, um, but yeah, it was a pretty fe a feisty sort of innings from for myself and Tendo and a lot of abuse thrown around, but yeah, pretty pleased to, to get over the win and deny them a deny them a victory. Indeed, and particularly, all right, they won the championship, and you have to say that we deserve champions. Uh, but we did at least save our own unbeaten record. Exactly, didn't yeah. we? I so think that was a lot of, I guess, what was being said in the changing room before that last day was, you know, we've got an opportunity here to to make sure that they lose a the game. So it was, uh, yeah, it was a good a good game to win for us, and um, yeah, happy days, mate. I know. I guess the answer, you know, what your itinerary is for this year to play, uh, keep fit, uh, play as many games as you can. But have you got any personal ambitions? Um, you know, what, playing all forms. Of the yeah, game? I'll, I'll, I'd love love to play all forms. But I think, you know, like you said, for me, it's just going to be staying uh, injury free and managing my my loads and how much I bowl and, and when I bowl well. Um, I've had a good chat with uh, with Mags and uh, physios and S and C and stuff. So we've got quite a good plan, I think, going into the summer of how often I'll play and when I have my rest and I think it's down to me a lot this year as well to manage myself off the field in terms of rehab and getting myself ready so um, yeah look, really looking forward to that I guess the challenge personally of trying to make it through the year and and uh, putting in some performances for Essex. 